What is going on everybody? It is Ranger Marcus or Marcus Rareman and today we are looking for snakes and salamanders. So this video is going to be kind of mixed up because I'm going to start this video in Central Oregon where I was working the last week. So if you didn't know, this summer I'll be working with the Oregon Spotted Frog, looking for egg masses the first few weeks and then actually finding the frogs later in the summer. So first part of this video, I'm going to take you to Central Oregon where I did take some pictures and videos and you guys will see what I did there. Accidentally spooked this mama with her eggs. It all hissing and everything. Well, here is the first herp. That is not an egg mass. Some sort of fence lizard, I guess. The male found under this log. And it's just barely waking up. It's freezing outside, so I'm just gonna put this log back and put this guy back under it. Nice find though. So you guys just saw all those videos from Central Oregon. It was absolutely freezing there. It was under 28 degrees every time we woke up. While we were surveying, it was literally snowing. So hopefully the conditions get better out there the farther we go into the season. As for today though, we are looking for snakes and salamanders and I'm at the place where I went road cruising a couple weeks ago, looking for amphibians and also the same place where I found the torrent salamanders, encetina, dun salamander and giant salamander. But today we are looking for the western long-toed salamander which would be a lifer for me. So that's the big target but I'd love to find just as many salamanders as possible. So I stopped somewhere like 30 minutes ago just to flip some boars and I found some pretty cool stuff. So I'm gonna take you there just real quick and then we'll get back to the video. Woo! Big old gopher snake. Let's pick this guy up. All right, so I flipped this board here and got this nice gopher snake. It's a thick boy. Kind of lost its tail at some point in time. Nice gopher snake. I think this is my first gopher snake uh, here in Oregon. This is the same piece that I flipped the garter snake under uh, the last time I was here. Okay, just a nice size gopher snake. Let's see how big it is here. Pretty big. Oh, now you want to be all defensive. Well, I don't really need any pictures of this guy. Um, cool, pretty cool find. I might get some pictures, we'll see. But yeah, this is a uh, Pacific gopher snake. Nice find. I'm not usually a fan of getting pictures on boards just because the landscaping isn't great. Um, but there's a bunch of tall grass here and so there's not a lot of places to actually get good pictures. So I'm not gonna get a ton of pictures of this guy. I'm gonna put this guy back under his board. Hey, there's no need to be defensive, man. I'm not even touching you. But yeah, nice kill for a snake. Put this guy back, keep herping. Here we got a racer. I think this is the same racer uh, that I found a while ago. It's giving me a little nibble there. Uh, this is the first racer that I found like two weeks ago or so. Uh, so once again, I'm not gonna get any pictures of this guy. Very feisty guy. Uh, I'm gonna put this guy back under his rock though. Second snake. There he goes. Okay, back to herping here. Here's our first salamander of the day, the Southern Torrent Salamander. I'm gonna pick this guy up. Here's a better look at this Southern Torrent Salamander. These guys are fully aquatic, so I found him 
in this pile here. Nice find. Here's the second salamander of the day. We have a larval giant salamander. Look at the big old tail there. That's gonna be a nice big individual there. But I'm gonna put this guy back because they are fully aquatic, just like the torrents. Here's another little torrent salamander. Look at that guy. Here's another nice torrent salamander. This is the third one of the day. The white speckling is really nice on this individual. Might get some pictures of this guy. All right, fifth salamander of the day. We got a Western redback salamander with an actual red back to it. This is the type of habitat that I'm looking through today. We got this stream going. Let's find some salamanders. So I just flipped a log next to the creek and this larval giant salamander was under there. It's like six inches or so. So it's a pretty big individual, but it is a larval stage. So it doesn't really have those crazy markings that we usually see. But look at that, nice big giant salamander. All right, I'm gonna go put this guy back. There he goes, under that log, nice. Here we have another torrent salamander. I think this is number six now. This one's really light in coloration, that's pretty cool. And under the next rock over, we have another torrent salamander. This one's got a nice yellow belly to it. I don't think it'll flip around. This one's nice. So I just flipped this super sick looking frog and I'm not really sure what it is. It could be a tailed frog because of the tail there. Um, I think it's called like a coast tailed frog. So this is probably a coast tailed frog. There's that tail there. Yeah, it looks really cool. I'm gonna get a lot of pictures of this guy. This guy is really cool looking. The eyes are sick. I forgot to mention that this is actually a lifer for me. I've never seen a tailed frog before, so he just jumped right into the camera. Now he's on my arm. Uh, but yeah, life for me, I'm gonna put this guy back and keep herping. Another torrent salamander. Two more torrent salamanders, one there, beetle, and one there. All right, flipped this log and finally got a non-larva of the giant salamander. And pick this guy up, take some pictures. Kind of a little guy, maybe like three, four inches. Yeah, probably like four inches. But see, when they're in this stage, their terrestrial stage, they have these really cool markings on their back, as you can see here. So this is kind of interesting. The creek is down there and I was flipping logs up here more on the ridge and an even bigger giant salamander. This guy was just under a log, 
super far from the creek. And yeah, pretty good size. Like this is maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe seven inches or so. Pretty good size. And the markings are always really cool. So I think this is uh, my fourth giant salamander, if you include the two larval stages, but second of the terrestrials. I'm gonna take some pictures of this guy. All right, I'm putting this guy back now. Oh, kind of flopped there. There he goes. First redback salamander in a while. It's a good looking one. This one's yellow, so the regular red. I'm gonna put this guy back. Still haven't found that long toad. So I flipped this big old rock, flipped it out of there. And in that hole that almost escaped me was this huge giant salamander. This is the fifth one of the day. And uh, yeah, this is the biggest one I've seen in a while. My hands are really dirty now. But yeah, this guy's huge. You can see how big he is compared to my hands. So I'm really struggling to find anything else, but these giant salamanders are kind of everywhere. Uh, this is the fifth one I found. So these guys are out in numbers today, but I'm still waiting for that Western long-toed salamander. Still haven't found it yet. Could be getting closer though. And under the next rock over, we got another Western redback salamander. Third redback of the day. So it's getting later in the day and I still haven't found my target, the long-toed salamander. So we're gonna switch locations and see if we can find it there. So I moved to the new spot, new location. Literally the first rock I flip is a ringneck. I didn't even know ringnecks were over in this area. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at the orange. What a nice snake. Looks great. Flip this big branch tree here. We got our first newt. This is a rough skin newt. The only one that's here in Oregon. Not really sure what that is in his mouth. I think it's just like a little twig or something. But yeah, rough skin newt. Still looking for that long-toed salamander. I found just about everything else besides the long-toed. But this is a nice find. I'm gonna put this guy back under and keep herping. Here is the second rough skin newt. And a worm. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me today. I know this video was kind of jumbled around from all the different stuff from the different places, but you guys saw my first week out in the field, a gopher snake, yellow belly racer, and ring neck. And for salamanders, we found around 10 torrent salamanders, two rough skin newts, five giant salamanders, and three redbacks. I'll probably just be making one video per week just because how my schedule goes. But we found a ton of stuff today, and if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe, peace.